Martin Kellner here. Tonight, what we're doing is we're going to see if it's possible to do a radio show under the influence of drink. I mean, sponsored by a brewery, the Great Heck Brewery. They've come in with a huge barrel of beer, and they've got a, a pump and all that stuff. And at the moment, we haven't started yet, so I'm perfectly sober. However, uh, I'm going to. This is so complicated. But you know, for radio anorexia, I'm going to have to. I'm going to keep switching input between CDs and uh, RCS which you know at the best of times for an old bugger like me is like hard work but I've had two pints of this it's a beer called Dave which is interesting um, you know Dave to me is a television channel that plays Mock of the Week but anyway this is beer and I've drunk a couple of pints and we're going to see if it's possible we're going to see how beer affects your judgement and uh, I've got Sam Gore comedian I've got uh, Bernard Rush loads of fantastic stuff that's all happening well I say it's all happening we're very much hoping it's going to happen but you know who knows nice doctor there who said she didn't have a clue which was fair enough <coughs> she said she worked with a doctor in london hospital and um she's uh, suggested i went there so my doctors arranged all that but it's a terrible long waiting list i did see one doctor there again and he said he can't help me so i've got to wait to see this doctor emmanuel and <coughs> There's a three months waiting, another three months, and because he's only allowed to work 17 hours a month under National Health, so you have to have this long wait. But I have arranged to see him private, which really I don't agree with this private, but what can I do? I can't face another three months waiting. I'm just getting too depressed with it all. Is the issue for you then is that you, you, don't, feel like you're, you don't feel like you're a priority? Well, no, it's not. It's not class because I'm not terminal, which I'm very happy to say I'm not. Um, no one sees it as priority, but you see, they're not. Un they're not the ones that are confined to their house. They're not the ones that can't go out. They're not the ones that are socially isolated, and it is. It's hard. It really is hard to be socially isolated. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you weren't laughing at that. <laughs> Please. Oh, I've actually hurt boys. myself laughing. Boys. boys uh, anyway, boys. end of the day, it is better to burp and taste it than fart and waste it. Fair enough. Okay, uh, there she is. The uh, isn't just called belching woman. That, but it, it's, it, <laughs> it is what the, the great thing about it is. She had a tre tremendous timing. If you when you think of it as, a, as a comic piece, the timing was just sensational because you just thought, ah, well, that's right. She's talking all right now. You know, yeah. there's no problem there. And all of a sudden. <laughs> And she, when the other woman was talking, she only did a little belch. She only does a big belch when she herself is talking. Yeah. <laughs> she won't interrupt somebody else. But it's clearly a form of Tourette's, isn't it? You can tell. No, she's form... clearly full of rubbish. Do you think so? No, I don't think it's, that couldn't be a dietary. It's definitely a form of Tourette's. I would have said. Um, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do I mean, if you want to, if, you know, if you do have this same problem, do by all means get in touch with us. Not that I want to sound desperate. Uh, it's uh, Mansfield 103.2. It's Martin Kendall with you through till midnight. Beat the credit crunch with discount.